and it's green and they are racing in snowshoe at the UCI Mountain Bike Cross Country World Cup. Martina Berda on the right hand side of your picture. Yeah, but Evie, Richards. Away. Yeah. Evie Richards is right alongside her at the top of this climb. It does bottle next slightly, so they will have to get over to the uh, right hand side of the through. track. Quick Peter's a good start, Evie Richards, Martina Berta. They head out on to the start. And a crash in the middle. Up, a pile up in the middle. We'll wait to get confirmation of those involved. Doesn't look like any of the big guns a have been caught up in it. A couple of US riders involved with that, but it was far in the back of the group. Yeah, it's Evie Richards who leads them the one to the start loop. Then it's Berta, then Peterson. Richards. A good start of Evie Richards. Fancy's picking up where she left off in the short track on Friday night. There's Berta, there's Peterson, there's Steger, Henderson's there. Evie the Blunt, the US champion. Look at the speed they covered that ground, early yep. doors part. Yeah, the riders didn't know uh, in that uh, long descent. Um, yeah, there is a bottleneck. Nice group. <laughs> Big names in that. Some, <laughs> some horsepower in there. <laughs> it is. 31 seconds back the distance between Peterson and Mitter Wallner. Yeah, there's there more than Wallner with Anna Tauber and Jennifer Jackson, the Canadian champion. Here they go through this technical descent, and this is where Evie Richards is so, so strong. Berta. Henderson. And there's Keller nice on the number Keller. four line. Yeah, oh. you see how difficult it is. Gwendolyn Gibson. Uh, yeah, it was Gwendolyn Gibson. Sevilla Blink was in front of her. Gibson just yeah. bobbled off the yeah, one sorry, side there. Yolanda Neff, how fast she is. She was overtaking riders here. Yolanda Neff down there like a rocket. She left. There is Sevilla Blink. The Rock Rider Ford team with her new teammate, Samara Maxwell. Superb earlier on today. The three Swiss riders with Jolanda Neff, Alessandra Keller next to her. Here comes Mona Mitterwald, Mona Mitterwald, Jenny Risfeld. Passing Risfeld, the ghost train line up behind them. That custom painted Cannondale factory racing machine for the last two rounds. The whole team got new bikes. Problems though, problems for Kate Courtney in that wood section. The, the, face, is, the face is muddy. It must have been a crash. The bike is okay, no flat tires. The number 13, oh, upside no. down. Courtney. Rebecca Henderson is pushing hard. Stieger, second place, Puck Peterson, Martina Berta. Luana Lecomte. First on the road, Haley Batten, her teammate on Specialized Racing, her rear gunner. Then it's Peterson, Berta, Blanc, Lecomte. Gaps now in between the riders. Oh, the momentum has stalled somewhat. She's in 13th now, a minute back as they come down through this technical section. Oh. And again, for Big Peterson, a foot out. Foot out for Peterson. A lot of time. Scrappy from Peterson needs to get back on the chasing group. A Still. lot of space. But Hilly Batten's off and running now, so a little bobble from her somewhere. Wonder oh, she, what happened. She's there. running this section as well. She's just kept running. Yes, yeah, it's, it's hard to get on your bike again Clive on these technical back sections. On the bike. I wonder just what happened there to maybe, maybe too, just stalled maybe, behind yeah, Berta. It was too close on uh, Martina Berta's rear wheel. Maybe she touched her wheel a little bit of just out of control. Especially on such a high heart rate. The, the mistake go. is easily made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong line. Just got caught up riding the bike in front Dearly of her. They love to clock another win here today. Yeah, riders are pushing hard, digging deep. There is Mona Mitterwalder. Mitterwalder still in 13th position. Yeah, but I mean, most of the time around yeah, half ray race time, she will come to her actually. Yeah. I think she's struggling a little bit in the descent with, with this half wheel bike. You see the cycling computer just ah, flicked up. Uh, yeah, of the it, bike. Now you see the ripple effect. Yeah, yeah, it's now uh, Sevilla Blunk who is overtaking Kirk Peterson. It cost her a lot of time, oh, also too much time. Oh, it's through here. Yeah, and that's also because Kirk Peterson, she was struggling, so Hayley Batten, she got 
Fought up to that. What do you do there, Buck? Can you can you drop further back off the right yeah. in front to give yourself a bit yeah, more? Yeah, a little bit more space. Yeah, yeah that, that's what you can and do. A personal message written on the handlebar there for the mechanic. And that's the gap in between the leader, Mona Mitterwald, who was on 13th place, the two Austrian riders. The, the, the feeling of a victory, the, the, the winning a race, it gives rec some extra power. Here we go, the Trek factory racing duo are past the specialized factory racing machine of Haley Batten. Richards and Neff, it was almost a one-two punch there. Neff got Batten's attention and Richards steamrolled her way past. It's where, uh, there they are. There's the chase too. Not that far off, fourth and fifth. Really, really greasy through here. Really tricky section. Puck Peterson up in amongst it. There is civilian. But not too much. Lecomte in the second now. Gets past Berta. Luan Lecomte, absolutely superb. She won that overall title. So young, Bart, you can't get forgiven for thinking that she's uh, one of the old guard and she's been around for she years. She won the but first four, four rounds last yeah. year. Incredible. One of those riders, Lara Steger, heads on to the final lap. Six out of six. It's interesting. Yeah. Steger still floats that gap load deep into the race. As long as she's out of vision for Luan and Lecomte, to Steger, that, will, uh, that might help her a little bit. But if Luan Lecomte can't see. see here now. Whoa, oh. she made a mistake. Oh, she oh, recalled oh, oh, oh. that. Steger stay clipped in there. Superb that, skill. That's why she looked back over her shoulder immediately. But that didn't cost her too much time. Oh, Bart, this is too tense to watch. It is. And here we go through this root section that's caused so much problems in this race. Oh, so much root. effort. Yeah, yeah and another time. Another of bobble there. With that could just out. kill her forward momentum slightly. Yeah, trying to find a good line over here. We need an update on this split time. There's Alana Lecomte, there's Martina Berta, there is Sevilla Blanc, and there's Yolanda Neff. That's your top five after six laps. 16 oh. seconds, she brought it back again with three. Whoa. Laura Steger is about to get her first ever UCI Cross Country Olympic Mountain Bike World Cup win. Austria's Laura Steger can celebrate in Snowshoe, West Virginia. She takes the win. Absolutely unstoppable today. Laura Steger wins in Snowshoe. Oh, great performance. Absolutely superb from Steger. Behind her, Lou. It's Luana Lecomte. Second place, she left it just a little late, but big smiles on the line, as always, from Luana Lecomte of the Canyon Collective. Third over the line for Santa Cruz Rock Shocks Pro Team is Martina Berta. The Italian, superb today, Sevilla Bunk. For Rock Rider, Ford comes in fourth. And fifth place, back onto the podium. Trek Factory Racing, XC's Yolanda Neff. Now we need to have a look uh, to the podium for the points. There's Puck Peterson in sixth. That should do it. That should be enough to give her the overall title. Where is Mona Mitterwalder? There's Evie Richards. Avi Richards crosses the line, won the short track on Friday evening, seventh today. Huge amount of respect between the two Trek Factory racing stars. That overall leader's jersey may have just become an overall title for Puck Peterson. They're coming in fast behind them. Batten, Risfitz, Mitterwalder crosses the line. In 10th place. 10th place for Mona Mitterwalder. Congratulations, your first ever UCI World Cup Olympic win. How good did it feel crossing the finish line here in Snowshoe? Uh, it's, it's amazing, I have no words. I had a pretty hard time passing Worlds, so it hit me quite hard and coming back like this, it, it's just emotional and I have to thank everyone involved, um, the team, family, they are supporting me 
in every second, in every hard situation. And yeah, without them and also my coach, um, big, big thanks. Um, I can't be thankful enough for all their support. Um, without them, I wouldn't be there where I am today. Here's confirmation then. Lara Steger wins in snowshoe. Ahead of the comp, Berta, Blanc, Neff, Peterson, Richards, Batten, Risfits, Mitterwalder, came home in 10th. Boe, Gibson, Terpstra, Fry, Keller, Henderson, Endergram, Loif, Kate Courtney. What could have been? Crash in the woods. Halted her forward momentum early on. Lara Steger. Takes her first ever UCI Cross Country Olympic World Cup top step for specialised factory racing. She was faultless today, just as you have to be to win one of these World Cup races. Steger wins in snowshoe. Ahead of Lecomte, Berta, Blanc and Neff back on the podium. One round to go. And we don't have to wait long. Monsignana waits next weekend. Huck, congratulations. Not quite the podium finish, but it does feel like a fairy tale finish for you. Your first elite season and you've just claimed the overall. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Uh, in my mind, I was uh, constantly busy uh, with the overall, uh, and I'm uh, yeah, really happy that it uh, worked out. And what did you make of that track today? Because it was tough out there. Oh, like the first descent after the bridge, like four of the six laps, I went so slow and I had to click out. And then on the climbs, every time I could close it, and I had the feeling like I was really strong on the climbs. But then yeah, after four laps, it, yeah, it uh, got to me. And then uh, the descent went uh, better and better, but I, uh, I, yeah, I just barely couldn't catch up anymore with Yolanda. Do you have a The site the cross phenom that was supposed to be here on a visit and excursion in the mountain biking has just locked up the overall title with a round to spare. But Peterson. Made it her own. Cook Peterson takes the title with one round to spare. Ahead of Mona Mitterwaldner, Luan Lecomps and Fern, then Keller, Steger, Ferran Bravo, Berta, Richards, Terpster, Risfids. The cross country Olympic overall title belongs to Alpeson de Koenigs. Puck Peterson.